Hallelujah, beloved. You are welcome back, Eternal Father. Thank you for light and wisdom. And thank you for giving my viewers a listening ear and an understanding heart. Hallelujah. Beloved, you are welcome back. I'm in a very wonderful series with the topic, the dynamics of positive mindset. I've looked at episode one and episode two. In episode one, we looked at what is a positive, what is a mindset. As a matter of reflection, I said, a mindset simply means, I said a mindset simply means a mental attitude or disposition that predetermines a person's response and interpretation to life situations. And in the first episode, we looked at the nine, we, we said we have two kinds of mindset and we have what is called the counterproductive mindset and the productive mindset. In episode one, we looked at the counterproductive mindset. In episode two, we looked at the productive mindset. And now we are going straight to episode three, which I said earlier is the seven productive, I mean, which I said are pra is practical steps, practical steps to achieving positive mindset. Seven practical steps, rather, to achieving positive mindset. Let's begin with number one. I said, start the day with positive affirmations. Start the day with positive affirmations. Wake up in the morning and tell yourself that today is going to be a wonderful day. Tell, your, tell yourself that the best of life is going to happen to me today. Tell yourself I'm going to hit my targets today. I said, how you start the morning sets the tone of the of the rest of the day. Have you ever woken up late, panicked, and then felt like nothing good happened the rest of the day? This is likely because you started out the day with a negative emotion and a pessimistic view that carried into every other event you experienced. And I said, instead of letting this dominate you, start your day with positive affirmations. Talk to yourself in the mirror, even if you feel silly, with statements like, today will be good, today will be a good day, like I said, or I am going to be awesome today. Tell yourself, you will be, I, will be, um, I will be amazed how much I'm going to achieve today. So the first practical steps in achieving positive mindset is start your day with positive affirmation. Number two, focus on the good things, however small. It doesn't matter the losses you had yesterday. Today you've woken up with good health. Focus that you have good health and forget about the sack letter you return home with. Life is, 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 is fraught with problems. Hence, you may encounter obstacles throughout the day. There is no such thing as a perfect day. When you encounter such a challenge, focus on the benefits. No matter how slight or unimportant they seem. For example, if you get stuck in traffic, think about how you now have time to listen to the rest of your favorite podcast. How you have a chance to do some things with your phone. How you need to check some mails and stuff like that. I said if the store is out of food you want to prepare, Think about the thrill of trying something new. That's wonderful. Number three, practical steps of achieving positive mindset. I said find humor in bad situations. Allow yourself to experience humor even in darkest or most trying situations. Remind yourself that this situation will probably make a good story later and try to crack joke about it. In 2003, I was a teenage pastor, pastoring a church somewhere in Rumo Dumaya, Rumo Kuru, under apostolic army, under the direct leadership of the presiding bishop, then Bishop Willie Willie Bounty. And I remember then I was living with my elder brother. We were just staying in one room, and Marine Base is a very far distance to Rumo Kuru. Some of you who are peculiar, I mean, familiar with Port Harcourt knows that Marine Base to Rumo Kuru is some numbers of kilometers. And sometimes after service in that place, 
you won't even have people who gave offering. And maybe you managed to arrive there. And since I was a trained pastor, I didn't know how to ask people how to give a transport fare. I wait until after the Bible study, around 9 o'clock, I start trekking back from Rumokoro to Marine Base. So I will walk from Marine Base, I mean from Rumokoro, from Rumotomea to Rumokoro Junction, walk from Rumokoro Junction to Rumibo, navigate through Psychiatric Road, come out Rumola proper, walk from Rumola to Garrison, pass through Buna Valley, and I am in Eastern Bypass. Sometimes it's one hour, Som I mean sometimes it's two hours walk. But can I tell you what I used to do this period? In that process of walking down from Rumo Koro to Marine Base, I keep praying. One of the days I was in the church feeling very sad. And a, 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 a youth copper, Barista Fumi, who was serving with me in the children's department, walked into the place and she said, Pastor, I know the situations around you are not palatable, but I want to encourage you to understand that the situations you see around is going to make your book to be sweet tomorrow. Don't you want your book to be sweet? I can tell you that lighted up my mindset. And so everything I saw that were messy around, I saw them as bits of my future glory. He said, if you didn't have all these things, who would want to read your book? People want to see what you suffer, what, how, how, where you came from to arrive where you are. And if there was nothing pressing you down, then there was no fight that was given to your success. Number three, I said find humor in bad situations. Number four, turn failures into lessons. You are not perfect. You are going to make mistakes and experience failure in multiple contexts, at multiple jobs and with multiple people. Instead of excusing on how you, I mean, focusing on how you failed, Think about what you are going to do next time. Listen, I have failed much more than I've succeeded. If I've done 100 things in life, I have failed 95. One of the things that makes me look at the future, and I am very happy that I'm going to do very well, is because I have failed so much that I've known what will not work in the future. You know, failure gives you a poor view of knowing what you will not attempt to engage your energy with in the future if life gives you opportunity again. So turn failures into success. Conceptualize this in, a con in, co in, in, in some concrete rules. For example, you could come up with three new rules for managing projects as a result of those failures. Number five, um, um, practical steps in achieving positive mindset. I said, transform negative self-talk into positive self-talk. Negative self-talk self can keep up easily and, it often, in, and, and it's often hard to notice. You might think, I am so bad at this or I shouldn't have tried that. But these thoughts turn into internalized feelings and might cement you are conceptions of yourself when you catch yourself doing this stop and replace those negative messages with positive ones you might be wondering why i'm reading more from my um, um device here i am an inspired writer my greatest gift is in writing and not in talking and so what i'm trying to to read and expatiate on is part of my book on the dynamics of personal leadership when I want to write, it flows from omniscient wisdom. And so, I, I find pleasure in retelling what I have already written. So he said, transform negative self-talks into positive talks. For example, you said, I am so bad, and it becomes words. I get more practice. You say, let me give you an example. So example, I am so bad at this. Because once I get more practice, I will be way better at this. I shouldn't have tried because that didn't work out as planned. Maybe, maybe next time. Now look at that. So you may have done something and you failed. Don't remain there and be um, um, feeling sorry for yourself. Tell yourself. Yes. 
this didn't work out as planned. Maybe next time it's going to work. Number six practical way of achieving positive mindset. Focus on the present. Focus on the present. Listen, you may do nothing serious to change the past, but you can do something wonderful concerning the future that people can forget the past. I mean, you can do something wonderful concerning the present that the future become um, um, invisible. I mean, that the past becomes obsolete and the future becomes so glaring. Focus on the present. I'm talking about the present, not today. Not this hour. Only this exact moment. You might be getting chewed out by your boss. But what is this exact moment is happening that's so bad? Forget the comment he made five minutes ago. Forget what he might have said five minutes from now. Focus on this one individual moment in most situations you will find it you find it's not as bad as you imagine it to be most sources of negativity stem from a memory of a recent event or an aggravated and exaggerated imagination of a potential future event stay in the present moment listen sometimes it's not the ugliness of the past that makes your present miserable. Sometimes is the fear of unknown, the fear of tomorrow. So stay in your moment. Life is lived in a moment. A songwriter says, one step at a time. Finally, find positive friends, mentors, and co-workers. When you surround yourself with positive people, you will hear positive stories. You have positive outlooks. And positive affirmations. Their positive work, words will sink in and affect your own line of thinking, which then affects your words and similarly contributes to the group. Finding positive people to fill up your life can be difficult, but you need to eliminate the negativity in your life before it consumes you. Do what you can to improve the positivity of others and let their positivity affect you the same way. I said here as a matter of conclusion, almost anybody in any situation can apply these lessons to their own lives and increase their positive attitude. As you might imagine, positive thinking offers compounding returns. So the more often you practice it, the greater benefits you will realize. I want to thank God because I know these few words are going to revolutionize your life in helping you becoming the best and the most you can be under God in this world. I'll be back again on episode 4 to look at top 10 benefits of positive mindset. Top 10 benefits of having a positive mindset. Till I come your way again, God bless you.